we're back. We're doing a, a good old-fashioned reaction video. This time to a channel called Darman. Have you ever seen Darman before? Oh, uh, he's a legend. It's like right. moral of the story type video. So it would be like, oh, Mean Girl Shame YouTuber. I haven't watched this video, but I can already tell where it's going. She's going to get bullied for being a YouTuber. Then she's going to become really, really famous. And then all the bullies are going to be like, oh, you're, you're so awesome. Please shout out my TikTok. But I've got four videos lined up here. Uh, mean Girl Shame YouTuber. Rich Girl Refuses to Tip Waitress. She instantly regrets it. She, like, killer or something. <laughs> Gold Digger humiliates a retail worker, instantly regrets it. TikTok famous teen kicked out of club. What happens next is shocking. Mate, how dare somebody kick out how? a famous teenager from a club? I'm always living when I go to a club and there's not enough teenagers there. Right, good one, good one. I'm super excited about today's video. Could you imagine we open it with? Yeah, I'm not very excited. Guys, I don't really think this is a good Honestly, one. Honestly, this one's just a bit of a stinker. It's just like, <laughs> it's just a time filler, really. Yeah, guys, we've got a brand deal on it, so it's got to go up today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, because it's a collaboration with Cole from the LeBrand fans. Is this the I can't, That's the religious man. Is he the one who described himself as a sex haver? Is that him? Yeah, I think so. What's up, guys? I am genuinely so excited for today's video. I am genuinely not excited for today's video. I don't really care about being when here. When I saw the text from Dom and I went, Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. I knew I owed him a favor. So, I am kind I kind of have to be here. Because I met Dar a few months ago, and he's just one of the nicest guys I've ever, ever met on top of his extreme success. <laughs> did Dar write this? <laughs> Dar wrote this, didn't he? <laughs> Was this written by a Dar? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we started a video like that. <laughs> it was great meeting George. He's the nicest, nicest man ever. Also, he's really rich. So this is a great successful relationship. Success is the most important thing. For this video, such a great lesson. Um, can't wait to kick it off. Yeah, thanks. I'm super excited too. And to celebrate this epic collaboration, we went and got some brand new Apple laptops. They're called MacBooks. Who calls them Apple laptops? Why have they bought MacBooks for each other? Why can't we do that? I'm not getting you a Mac. Fuck off. Please, I want a no. present every time. I'm not getting you an Apple laptop. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the LeBrant fam's channel. They've got some amazing content. All the details. Was this written by LeBron? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start. Hi guys, I'm here with my dad. Definitely didn't turn the camera on there. Just gonna tell you that now. That's not how you turn the camera Is it not? on. No, you can't. You just put your hand on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Like All right, good. Well done. Nice one. Time before the talent show. Ready? Yeah. I done seen city back that ain't like this. I'm the man. She deserves to get bullied. Like, I bullied. I bull if, if someone at my school did a, a fucking, I don't know what the fuck this is with their dad. Why did not he wear? City back that ain't like this. I'm the man. <laughs> He fighting for his life in the group chat right now. Poor bloke, man. Are they gonna get bullied by the high school musical kids? <laughs> Imagine being a fully grown man and getting bullied by children. This is like a sea ice <laughs> <a> glee. <laughs> Pig like this. Oh, oh. oh my god. I have to take this phone call. Okay? You haven't paid child support yet, Dave. <laughs> Dave, please stop making TikToks, Dave. The police are at the door. The police are at the door. <laughs> you haven't paid your taxes, Dave. We're all going to prison. I don't know. That's just not that's just not even staying in. That's just not appropriate. Everyone knows she doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. My dad, my friend. No child would say that. Was this written by a dad? <laughs> <laughs> I have a great, healthy relationship with my daughter. We make TikToks together. We get on really well, and we don't shout at family reunions. And we're actually vlogging together too. <laughs> wow. Any girl who vlogs with her dad is. Definitely a loser. Actually, check out my family channel. We get 50 million views a month, mate. My favorite YouTube channel, the LeBrant fam. <laughs> mate, this. No! <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is this, the, is this even merch or is that just like a red bubble sweatshirt? Where Ash, you love guys. your favorite family channel. Get, get this. Uh, come get on. us, Dave. Get, take, this, take a screenshot of this. Get on a t shirt. And get it on a, t on a sweatshirt and wear it to school. Yeah, and send it into like a, one of our Reddits or on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, you um, won't get bullied or anything. Yeah, no, we'll love that. Vlogs with her dad, Cole. And they're actually not losers. <laughs> What's this brand by a LeBron fan? Hello. Actually, I'm not a loser. Me, every time I go back home and have to speak to normal people. <laughs> and I want a channel just like them. <laughs> you want to have a YouTube channel? And how are you ever going to get subscribers? Her only subscriber will be her dad. <laughs> My dad's not subscribed to me. <laughs> Let me call you back, okay? <laughs> Look. He's coming now. He's gonna go fucking punch the children. It's gonna be fun watching you lose tonight. To 
pink velvet. Oh. Is that a gang? Oh, it's gang <laughs> oh, West Side! The Brant fan pulls up bandanas around their heads. Glock in their hands. Feel the wrath of God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. You've got me, right? I'll always be your friend. I hope so. You're a dad, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, you're not really that popular. <laughs> Sorry, right. I can't be seen around you. <laughs> you're right. You're on your own on this one, kid. Again from the top. Yeah? I done seen City well, like It's fine, this. Dad. We're probably not even going to win. Let's just go get this over with. They're filming a TikTok on a camcorder. I think it's YouTube. It's YouTube. No, <laughs> it's a TikTok. They're filming a TikTok. Are you guys ready to start the talent show? <laughs> Why is this film like we're watching the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> <laughs> really? Anybody who vlogs in the bathroom. Yeah, no, it didn't th Dr. Disrespect get like banned from Twitch for doing that. <laughs> You're violating a lot of people's privacy in there. Yeah. You broke it. Not like it matters. No one was gonna watch your dumb vlog anyway. I just saved you the embarrassment of having posted it. Oh, it's almost our time on stage. We should go. Let's go win this thing, ladies. I think the moral of the story here is they're all gonna get brain aneurysms and die <laughs> for breaking her camera. I mean, what happened is the stage lights will collapse on the kids, causing them to all horrifically die. Uh, in I think an what's gonna happen is Darman's gonna be up in the opera box with a sniper rifle and ping them all off. <laughs> That's gonna be the moral of the story here. I should have never come here. Dancing with my dad? A YouTube channel? What was I thinking? I thought that was your whole dream. To be like the LeBron <laughs> <family? laughs> Darman, can we make a video? Can it be about someone that aspires to be memeulous? I think that'd be really good. Can we do that, please? And I can write about how awesome I am in the script. <laughs> this is amazing. Generally, this is like YouTube propaganda. <laughs> I've never seen a collab which is literally just propaganda <laughs> for the other person's YouTube channel. Like normally people like they do something interesting, maybe they eat candy or something, and you can kind of like get to know them as a person. But this video is literally just like these kids really want to be cola bra. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Not anymore. I don't even want to wear this stupid hoodie anymore. Too right, actually. That hoodie is shit. Oh, no. I I'm so sorry. That's all right. Oh, my God! It's Carla Brad! It's Carla Brad! What's he doing at school? What are you doing there, Cole? That was me when I threw away my Tabasco's hoodie. <laughs> and, he <laughs> and he picked it out of the bed. Cola Brant was there the whole time. Gosh. You're Cola Brant. Yeah. Nice hoodie, by the way. Uh, is everything okay? Sorry, I just can't believe I'm meeting you. Why has he got a backpack on? Is he going to extracurriculum classes? <laughs> Cole he's, re he's retaking his maths GCSE. <laughs> Cole Brown got held back <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> These girls keep calling me a loser because I don't have any friends. Just turns right, yeah, you are a bit of a loser too, my friends. <laughs> so that's from Redbubble. Couldn't even buy the official merchandise. Broke, broke ass. For vlogging with my dad. First off, I love the vlog idea. Do that. And second, not having friends doesn't make you a loser. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cole. Cole, <laughs> sorry to say, it definitely does. <laughs> if you don't have any mates, you are literally the definition <laughs> of an Stop. absolute Stop. fucking Stop. loser. <laughs> Nobody likes you. <laughs> Can this stay in? Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Each to their own. Um, <laughs> do what you want, really. Of course not. You can be cool all by yourself. And besides, I'm pretty sure you have at least one friend. Your dad. And that's all that really matters. He's so wise, Cole Brown. He's a wise figure. <laughs> He's just like an angel that has come down from the heavens to spread uh, good philosophy on aspiring young vloggers. Whenever there is a vlogger in doubt, he just appears. I forgot my camera broke. Well, why don't you try recording with my phone? <laughs> oh, bro, do you know anything about YouTube? Bro, I was... bro imagine if she just recorded with a flip. Bro, that, that, that would flop. Look at Cole's face. Cole's about to go, take back. You are a fucking loser. <laughs> you got a flip phone, mate. Cole... It's 2021, bro. And Cole LeBron can't even help you there. Cole's looking at that and he's just going, <laughs> I can't fucking go. Cole's going, he ascends to the heavens. <laughs> he's going, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I can't help these people. These people are lost. <laughs> he's just actually a drug dealer. <laughs> hey, you know what? I always carry a spare. <laughs> Here's my camera. You can have it. Are you serious? Th that's too much. We can't take that. No, really. I make seven grand a day. By the time we finish this conversation, I've made this back. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cole. I'll never forget this. You're welcome. And good luck. He just walks up the stairs of heaven. <laughs> They're fucking shit. They have no right to be chatting so much shit. No, they don't. They're the real losers. Next up, we have... My apologies. 
Kalani and Cole Bronk said that's a loser. <laughs> Oh no! You're not vlogging it from down there, are you? That's poor angle. It is. Awful, horrendous. Could you imagine this shoot day? This was like the E Boys Christmas video. Her dad continued to do the dancing. Imp fucking easily impressed crowd, like. When they finished, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Gives them a standing ovation. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Based on the audience's reaction, there was no doubt who the winner of the talent show was. She posts it under her new family channel. How many subscribers do they have? I ain't got good eyesight. Twelve. Ah, oh, shite. The video ends up going viral. Shut up, they mate. <laughs> it's on the Memeulous channel, and we are ripping into it. They've made a commentary video, Dad. <laughs> the commentary community has found it. She continues vlogging for their family channel and doing even more dances with her dad. Four years later, her dad's old tweets were found. <laughs> and now they struggle to make ends meet. <laughs> and then, a few months later, Kehlani happens to run into Pink Velvet. They just broke one million subscribers. Yeah, baby, that's a plot. Never met anyone with that many subs. Well, I've got two, and you've got yeah, four. four. So, you and your dad are like famous now. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, when you get a million, you do become an A-lister. Well, we were wondering if you ever want to dance with us. Yeah, imagine. The Rodriguez fam does a collab with Pink Velvet. Business email in bio. <laughs> get my agent on it. Really? Yeah. Maybe you could even be her friend and- Maybe! Oh, maybe! Bloody hell! She's got a million, mate! I'll tell you now, as somebody with a million subscribers, people beg me. Not the other <laughs> way around. <laughs> wow, uh... That's okay. I already have the one friend I need. Woo! Well done. Well done. Alright, I'm friends with my daddy. That's all I need. She's my best friend. You mess with her, you mess with me, you mess with me, you mess with her. You mess with us, you mess with her. I love how he just put his own videos in the record. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> hey, Darman fam. I really hope you love that message. What message, mate? Don't bully children. Buy a flip phone? <laughs> I don't get it. How many friends you have or how little friends you have doesn't determine how cool or what your worth is. Yeah, no, oh, that's, hang on, that's, hang on. The, that's determined by YouTube yeah, subscribers. Yeah, that's determined by having a million subscribers. And to be honest, Cole, I agree. Same, yeah. I don't have any friends, but that doesn't matter because every time I, I have four million friends, yeah. I can go I go to bed with my a million friends every night, and it's even better because they they can all help me with my with my brand. Deals. I ch I just chill in bed with all f all three of three three of my one million plaques. Like, I got three of them. Like, what's the point? Right, what's the point if you're hanging out with just like actual people? You don't get AdSense for that. Exactly. But when you hang out with your, with your million friends on YouTube, at least you get paid. You to get, do they it. watch the ads. They make they make you money. And that's the real motto here. And your best friends are the ones that convert into into people that buy merch. Yeah, exactly. Especially once you're face of your entire family on it. As I said, we're going to be watching a few of these because I just saw the titles of some of them. I thought, I can't not. A rich girl refuses to tip waitress instantly regrets it. It's just the first frame is just this. That's so American because in the UK, like, all you do with like a waiter or a waitress is spit on them. Exactly. Honey, you got a lot of nice things. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need my credit card back. Oh, of course. Here you go. Actually, I think I'm gonna hang on to it in case I need to buy some more stuff. Move the e-boys card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Wait, hang on. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So they're rich and they've just ordered water. She, oh yeah, number one. That's disgraceful. Yeah. You know, get yourself something decent. Maybe smart water. But also, beyond that, if I said to you, oh, George, oh, can I have my car back? And you went, no. <laughs> I wouldn't just... Yeah, but she's a spoiled girl and her mum lets her get away with everything. <laughs> Giving somebody your card seems like a really risky behavior. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd never... I, even my, I would never give my child my card. Here you go, take this. Don't bankrupt me. And for you? Just get me the same, but hurry it up. We don't have all day. I don't think anyone's ever spoken to a waitress like this. Have you, I, I've never seen anyone say that stuff like that to a waitress. That wasn't nice. Who cares? She's just a waitress. I mean, how hard can that job be? Exactly, exactly. I, I'm a I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. So I, I have free reign to um, tell waitresses uh, to hurry it up. Yeah, we do real work. Mm. And, like, they wouldn't even understand. Have they ever got a video demonetized? They haven't felt real struggle. Yeah, you've had a copyright claim from TLC. <laughs> Did she go through the adpocalypse? Yeah. I don't think so. I, mean, I don't think we know that is. Procession? Who cares about that? Lost your house? Yeah, man. 
Think about what happens if you go from a five dollar CPM to a two. It's devastating. Mine was like ten p. Thank you so much. Of course. Enjoy. Wait a second. Are there sunflower seeds in here? <laughs> no way! No sunflower oh, seeds! Oh no! Oh no! That's outrageous! How, she was, how did she fucking? How did she fuck this up that badly? Thanks. She's supposed to be able to read her mind. It's outrageous, mate. So they come with the salad you ordered. Are you trying to kill me? I'm allergic to sunflower seeds. Oh my gosh. I well, to be fair, she should have asked for the allergies before she gave you the menu. So actually, it is the waitress's fault. So actually, I think this is very justified. Exactly. Because exactly. Because really, you should go out your way and go, Sack her! Hey, Sack her! Yeah. Any allergies available? And if the person just says no, then you go, fair enough, you give them what they order. But you should at least check. Exactly. I am so sorry. I had, I had no idea. Um, uh, maybe you should have asked. Too yeah, right! Too right! Too right! Too right! Yeah, you know you should, because you might actually kill somebody, and then you're gonna get a lawsuit on the company, and then you'll get fired, and that won't be very good for you, will it? Exactly, it wouldn't be very positive. I see, I see where Dumb Man's going with this. Exactly. Ask people questions. Wage paying job, how hard can that be? Beverly, stop! If I was the waitress, I'd get the sunflower seeds and jam it up. <laughs> Okay. Fucking eat the sunflower seeds! <laughs> Fucking up! Bring me another salad, and I expect you to remove this from the bill for the inconvenience. God, they're so white. How could you treat her like that? You wouldn't want anybody to treat you like that, would you? Oh, please. She should know how to do her job. It's not rocket science. Cuts to the scene of her building a rocket. Actually, Darman comes out and goes, Actually, it was rocket science. <laughs> it's been rocket science this whole time. You should be nice to people who work in waitress jobs because actually, in the background, they can build your salad, but sometimes they're gonna forget things because they're also building the latest rocket for Elon Musk. Here's your change. Thank you so much for coming in. And again, I truly, truly apologize for the mix-up. I, I probably Don't even didn't. worry about it. It wasn't a problem. It was. It was. She could have died. And all of this is for you. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I. I really appreciate it. Oh, what? No. <gasps> she took forever with our order and then tried to poison me. Well said. Oh! Exactly, exactly. And she didn't go through with it, which is the most unfortunate part about this. Fine. You want a tipper? Then here. Oh! 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 Two cents, baby. That's worse than nothing. She couldn't even do her simple job right. <laughs> Darn, man. Waitress isn't easy. <laughs> You never know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. Too right, everyone. Too right. Same goes with YouTuber. Yeah. Try to make a Reddit video. Oh, yeah? And how would you know? Because I used to be one. <gasps> Plot twist! What? Don't Plot twist! That... Your mum used to be common as scum! Plot twist! Your mum had a job that apparently you didn't know about. How's that happened? <laughs> it's not like fucking Spider-Man, is it? <laughs> Plot it's twist! Like... Your mum had a minimum wage job! Oh no! Oh. It's not like she's Spider-Man. It's not like she was sneaking out in the, uh, at night to clean plates. Like, what's going on here? How's she hitting that one? <laughs> is that where... Well, that's why she regrets it. How do you think we were paying the bills? By me waiting tables, that's how. Why didn't she tell her this before when she started being rude? Because surely this isn't just like the first time this has happened. Has she only ever seen her daughter once? Well, she's, working about, she's working free minimum wage jobs to pay for the Louis Vuitton. So she doesn't see her daughter, actually. And that's what normal people have to go through in this economic crisis. Ew. Ew? Sorry, what? I am taking my credit card back. <gasps> How am I supposed to pay for things? By getting a job. Oh, she's going to become a waitress. By selling your body. <laughs> oh my God, Alan. <laughs> Girl man comes out. In a pimp hat. <laughs> and a cane. Are you serious, Mom? No, you can't do this to me. I am serious. You put the money back and let's go. <gasps> Beverly can't believe what just happened and follow- <laughs> With the Louis <laughs> Pie! Don't forget the Louis bag. Now that Beverly can't use her mom's- Why did she cut up her own credit card? Why did she just take it off her? <laughs> if you that can't... seems awfully impractical. <laughs> if you can't spend it. Neither can I. She has no choice but to look for a job. She ends up getting hired as a waitress at a new restaurant that just opened up. Everything seems to be going fine. That is until she has to take on multiple tables at once no. Oh, no. and gets yelled at by angry customers for taking too long with their order. Oh, the irony. It's karma. It's come full circle, Alex. No matter how hard she works, customers just expect more and more out of her and she can't seem to do anything right. Fuck your burger. This isn't the dream burger. I don't have a Kyle Jacobs grilled cheese! <laughs> She hardly has even anything to show for it.
That's her wage. It's six P. You broke. I know you didn't like my service last time. Well, so I spat in your drink. Would you like the same salad as last time? No, because it's still a sunflower season, ain't you? Is that you? You fucking idiot! <laughs> Did you not learn anything last time? You can't just. You're still just gonna eat sunflower seeds now because the last time it, it's not like her allergies gone away. <laughs> She's just decided to be nicer. It's like, oh, oh, George, are you, calm you, down, fucking calm. No, but I'm living with that. That's outrageous. You know, what, what, what's she better to do? Be immune to sunflower seeds now? It's disgraceful. She's uh, grown up. She's grown out of her sunflower allergy. What's the moral of the story here? If, you, if you're nice to people, your allergies will go away. Wow, honey. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for treating someone with human decency. Just touch the hair on the floor covered in sunflower seeds. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have my credit card back. What the fuck? She was nice to one person one time and now she gets a credit card. Are you sure? You're a, you're a, sorry, but you're a terrible parent. You are an awful parent. It's this kind of behavior that encourages the bad behavior. Actually, it's okay, mom. It actually feels really good working for everything that I have. Hey, Darman fam. So you see, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. No, you're sorry, not, what? mate. No, you no, sorry. Sorry, do you think someone watched this video who was a dickhead to a waitress and suddenly changed their tune? What? No one's life was changed by this video, Darman. The only thing I've learned from this is people with sunflower seed allergies are annoying as fuck. Share my videos. You're helping to change. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, if you share this video, though, guys. If you share this video, you're helping change someone's life. And uh, if you subscribe, you are changing my life. Yeah, you can change because our lives. Because there are only, uh, uh, like, a certain percent of, you know the drill. You just subscribe or I'll curb stomp your cat. I'll see you in the next video. All right, now we've got this one. Gold Digger humiliates a retail worker, instantly regrets it. I'm, is it gonna be the same thing this time where she's forced to work in a retail shop? I have no idea. Just put whatever you want on the card, okay? Thanks, babe. Wow. Wow. He balling. Why is she taking it off with such anger? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry, what? You start to wear it if you buy it. Do you know what I do? Whenever I go into like Selfridges or something, I go to the I go to the racks of all the expensive clothes, and if I see something I really don't like, I take it off and throw it in there. How anger. dare you sell this? How dare they disappoint my eyes? Oh, where are all the extra smalls? Hi, excuse me. Can I get a little help over here? Fucking hell, she's literally working so many jobs at Oh my moment. god, yeah. So many, so many help her. I need this in an extra small for an event coming up. My husband's the VP of a major company. Insomnia Gaming Festival 65! <laughs> He's going to the pub quiz. I'm hosting the pub quiz this year. <laughs> and he wants to look at his best behaviour for all the YouTubers who are going to be there. <laughs> He's going to the I'm Alex meet and greet. He wants to make sure it's running smoothly. He looks fly when he does it. Wow, that's amazing. Um, let me check her inventory. So comical. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. But we're actually out of all extra smalls. Oh god, oh no. This is unbelievable. You're not helpful at all. I'll just find something else. Well, That's yeah, that would yeah. be a good, a good idea in, <laughs> in general. <laughs> really? What is taking so long? It, it'll just be a sec. Well, hurry it up. Hey, it's okay. She's trying her best. Did I ask your opinion? Hey! hey! Who asked? Who asked? Yeah, who asked, mate? Literally. Where is your manager? I need to file a complaint about your terrible service. I am the manager. Oh, um, you know what? She's... It's not a big deal. You can go in front of me. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Good. Now that's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> go on. See? Being a dick works. Why is she so angry? Like, even when her husband gave her the card, she seemed angry. Who is like this? I don't know, man. These gold diggers, Who are bro. these videos for? I don't know. People who have gold digger wives? I don't, I don't really get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. $289.38. Here. <laughs> Great. Uh, can I see an ID to match? That's my husband's credit card. I don't have his ID. I'm so sorry, ma'am. But for transactions over $250, I need to see an ID. He's literally Actually, outside. Stop being a, stop being so annoying and just go get his ID. Also, that's not true. If you spend about 20, 30k at the Gucci store, they don't ID you anyway. So. Yeah, he's done it before. I've seen it. I need to speak to your manager immediately. I am the manager. <laughs> Sorry, Palpatine. <laughs> She's just Palpatine. <laughs> Palpatine for Darth Sidious heart. What's wrong? Everything okay? You need to work in retail now. No, uh, I just got off the phone with my boss and they're talking about making cuts at the company. 
he just fired. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what? Isn't he vice president? <laughs> oh, if that meant cuts, they, don't they go for like the, the people, the, the underlings of the cut? They, why would they sack the vice president if they're making cuts? Uh, I'm sure you'll read about it on Twitter the next day. What? What are we supposed to do now? I don't know, but we can't keep spending money like this anymore. I mean, when I get a 10 and 10. No more trips to the Gucci store when I get a 10 no and 10. No more delivery orders. Yeah. But I've never worked a single day in my life. Well, it's about time you start. You're gonna have to sell your body. Alex. Dar man. Dar man. Dar man. So that cannot be a motto every time, Dar man. Jobless and with no income, the gold digger is forced to look for a job. She probably has a name, you know. <laughs> the gold digging bitch was forced to look for a job. Why is she like outside like it's like some form of main character short film movie? <laughs> she eventually gets a job as a retail worker at a clothing store and has to work long hours. Oh no! Oh. Until she has to deal with rude customers. I've seen a female dar man. And get so upset at her when she's just trying. 150 broke bitch store. Well. She now realizes just how difficult being a retail worker really is. And then one day, she decides to pay a visit to an old acquaintance. My the one. Welcome. <laughs> oh, if you're here for this shirt, I, I made sure that we got more in your size. No, 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 no. I'm actually here to apologize for the way I treated you. That woman's going through the wars. First of all, she has to deal with rude people at a waitressing job, and now she has to deal with rude people at a retail job. Let your anger flow through you. <laughs> Sell them t-shirts. All right, okay. Well, final what one. Is that one that recommended? <laughs> Sales one. Fat shames a customer. Lives to regret it! <laughs> what the fuck are these? I'm fucking losing my mind. Some refuses to want a military dad blown up by IED. <laughs> Comes home in a coffin. <laughs> Oh man, what's going on? What the fuck are these titles, man? What what are what does he live to regret? Losing his limbs? How do you go from sudden refusing to start a military dad to TikTok famous team kicked out of club? How where where is the level here? Can we take a picture? Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, that line looks really long. Are you kidding? You're Allison Day. I'm not gonna wait in line. Too right. Hey guys. I just saw on Twitter a really big TikToker is coming in tonight. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm 40. We only have one table left. That is fantastic, right? You save that table for a big spender, right? Somebody who has a lot of money, all right? Calvin Dragon, come in. If we'd like to get in, please. This is the VIP line. Unless you have a table, wait over there in the regular line. That's fair enough. Yeah. Actually, we'd like to get one. Do you have any available? I know about kids like you. You come into my club, you cause me a lot of problems, and you don't spend a lot of money. Why? Because you don't have a lot of money. That's not us. Here's my uh, AdSense. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> here is my TikTok creator funds. As you can see, I, I, I'm, ball, I'm balling. I'm balling out. I actually did a hair care product reveal about a week ago. Paying the bills, mate. Here is my Shopify analytics. I have one table left, and I am not going to give it to somebody who looks like they still get an allowance from there. Yeah, an allowance from my fucking TikTok brand deals. Yeah, baby. Talk to Daddy McDonald's, because they just paid me 20 grand for a brand deal. I am going to give it to somebody who, who looks like this guy. All oh, right, my man, my man. He's is that Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> He's coked out of his mind, whoever he is. Poor fucker. We have one table left, and I've been saving it for a big spender. Somebody looks exactly like you. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> right. <laughs> bro, he, bro, he's so <laughs> off his head. Mate, he's walked into that club and he's ready for a night out, man. <laughs> he is absolutely buzzing. What a jerk. Seriously. Gets out of the famous birthdays. Actually, I am the big influencer here. It's time to go live on Instagram, motherfucker. Let's just go home. No, it's your birthday and we're already out. Besides, I need to use the bathroom. Come on, let's go. You should have told him who you were. Well, she's not that famous if nobody in the normal line recognizes her. Yeah, exactly. Not worth, not worth the VIP. All time. these people are meant to be coming to see her, I guess. I'm sorry, but you're Allison, right? We're huge fans, and we knew you were going to be here tonight. Is there any way we can get a photo? Of course. <laughs> Did they announce a TikToker being there like they announced like Paul Shuckle being at like clubs? Are TikTokers in America like when they bring Dick and Dom to like a student club? How many people check would turn up a being you? The Venus and I Alex club appearance. For the record, I would be down bad to do that. Excuse me, very important person coming through. There you go. My man. He's just gonna OD in the club. <laughs> Bro, he's off his head. He's off his head. That's not a very responsible club owner letting in someone like that. <laughs> he's proper method acting, that bloke. Like he turned up to shoot over Dom and he's like, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do, Dom? <laughs> What are we gonna do? <laughs> He's only doing this so Darman gives him his next fix. Okay, look, 
Do you see this? This is, this is a good, this is a cracker. <laughs> These are the type of people we want in our club. One day, when you no longer have to rely on mommy and daddy's money, maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> He's off it. He's actually off it. This isn't acting. You in the VIP lounge. My man, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh! oh! Nice one, Robert Downey. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, very quiet club, like. Right? Yeah, it's not as packed as it is. That is, uh, that is the Ace of Spades, and it is one thousand dollars per bottle. Um, two bottles of Ace of Spades for Mr. Amiri on this card. Of course. It's gonna get declined. I really want to get a drink, but the bar is so packed. I'm sorry. In what world is that a packed bar? You have never been to a club in London where it stretches back like it's like a, it feels like you're in a festival trying the to get to the bar. This is American bars for you. It's like wow, I, I can't get to the to the line, man. <laughs> I can't get my my smart of <laughs> ice, man. I can't get my smart of ice to chug with my friends. Yeah, I really wish we had VIP. Look, that table's empty. I wonder if the people don't show. Going to a club and sitting at a table is pathetic. What is going on here? Is that table open? Um. Uh, look, my friend here is Allison Day, and if you don't know. Oh no! Oh, no! oh don't do that! Bloody hell, man! Don't ever do that! Oh, that's what I do when I go to clubs. Oh, excuse me, do you know who he is? <laughs> do, do you know who I am? <laughs> he made We Need to Stop Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did do that. That was massive. Yeah, did you massive. not see that? We were the people who created E-Boy's Chess. Exactly. We, <laughs> we're two of the masterminds behind <laughs> E-Boy's <laughs> Chess. Well, I'd like to say we did the lion's share of the work on that one. So maybe we should really give us credit. You definitely belong in the VIP section. Come on in. Can you get a quick photo? Oh my god, my daughter's a huge fan. Oh, that's yeah, that happened to me with a security guard before. No, you haven't. No, I have. He went, my son's a huge fan. What, Insomnia Gaming Festival? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But hold on, I'm sorry. What is happening here? This is the VIP section. <laughs> Why does this man care so much about people buying the VIP? Why? <laughs> if they only pay the entrance fee, you might as well let them buy some drinks, man. Jesus Christ. It's clearly not as packed as you said it was. Let me buy this one. I just want to celebrate my birthday. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, birthday of one other person. That's pretty sad. It is a bit. Mr. Amiri over there, he just bought two bottles of Ace of Spades. Now, it probably costs more than your car. So I will tell you one more time, you either get out of my VIP section or I throw you out of my club. Jesus, man. You know what? You don't have to, because we're leaving this dump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy Chuck E. Cheese if you can afford it. Oh boy, right there. Okay. Come on, bring it now. There we got the Queen of Hearts. Wait, hang on. They paid a grand for that. The, you, uh, excuse me. I don't think you know your club prices. If you buy a one thousand pound Ace of Space, it's normally a big one. It's like a Magnum. That's not a Magnum. Yeah. Doofus. I know because I, I do it all the time. <laughs> Let me do that oh. for you. My pleasure. Thank you. Sir, I really need to talk. To you. Give me one minute, please. Listen, I am so sorry about all of this craziness. Oh, it's hectic in there. <laughs> Wait, it's off the chain hook. Wow. So, uh, Mr. Amiri, tell uh -huh. me about yourself. Tell me what kind of uh, what kind of business do you do? Oh, well, I actually invested in Bitcoin. <laughs> I actually in Bitcoin. Uh, just slams uh, around the head with a bottle. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> 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 That's I made a big investment in and I dropped it all as soon as we went public. It says it's stolen. Okay, okay that's the, it's that's just a mistake. The card is not stolen. Mr. Amiri is a- This is the worst fucking club. No club owner is like this. This man would be out of business in a fucking day if he actually ran a club. It looks like he is. <laughs> He's a big businessman. He has a nice three-piece suit, okay? He's Maybe. not a very good judge of character, is he? They're gone. Looks like they didn't have any money at all. Okay, well, let's go get them. Get off your phone, Baldy. That was nice. Oh, it's not his fault, man. Uh, hey, Allison. Wait, Allison, can we get a picture, too? Me, too. Could I get a picture? Who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> Us, please. Okay, boss. No! Those two guys who took the last VIP table, they're a bunch of crooks. Will you go get them, please? <laughs> why, why is everybody hanging out with these two girls? You're kidding, right? That's Allison Day. She has like 80 million followers on TikTok. Hey, she's a multi millionaire. That, that's the internet sensation. That's the one who's. Oh, oh. Allison, Allison, hi. Listen, um, funny thing, uh, a, a table just opened up in the VIP section, and I would just love for you to have it. Kicks in the box. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. We'll just go to Chuck E. Cheese instead. I'm sure they'll have a table that I can afford. Actually, I know I own Chuck E. Cheese. It's me, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I am Charles E. Cheese. <laughs> I am Charles Chuck E. Cheese. That's why I made most of my millions before I started doing TikTok. Don't follow her. Come on. Wait, guys. So who is this supposed to relate to? If you own a nightclub, don't be a dick to your patrons. It's probably not a good idea. Where is everybody going?
Well, that's it. That's, that's all the dar man I can handle for today. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this video changed your life. I know it changed mine. I will not be uh, being horrible to people in my club anymore. Um, and I will not be bullying any children aspiring to be YouTubers, maybe. Be sure to check out Alex's link will be in the description and on the end screen. And uh, subscribe to me, please. Please. Please.